name is Damon Brantley and I'm a general surgeon here at Southeast Georgia Health System Camden Campus. My name is Adam Harper. I'm a CRNA or Certified Registered Nurse Anesthetist. My name is Amanda Wolanski and I'm a Certified Surgical Technologist. Hello, my name is Christopher Yons. I'm an orthopedic surgeon at Southeast Georgia Health System in Camden County. One of the reasons I chose general surgery is that I love the variety. I get an opportunity to see patients that have a lot of different disease processes and do a lot of different procedures. Uh, sometimes that is something as major as cancer and sometimes it is as small as a pimple um, or the fancy name for a pimple is a sebaceous cyst. Um, but I like that, I really enjoy that. I get a chance to do what I wish more people could do and that is I get a chance to live my dream. So when I was small, I really dreamed of becoming a doctor. And I grew up on the south side of Chicago, a small kid in a big city, and I had a big dream, but most people told me that it was not possible. Um, people that were from where I was from just didn't become doctors and surgeons, and um, I really needed to focus on something that I could probably really, really do. But this is what I really, really wanted to do, and so I dreamed really hard, and I worked really hard. And so it's still amazing to get up every morning and hear people say, good morning, Dr. Brantley. And so it's so cool because that's how my day starts. My day starts being reminded that dreams can come true if we're faithful and willing to work hard and willing to hold on to our dreams uh, tighter than anything else. And then typically I will see patients who are admitted to the hospital. Uh, we call that making rounds. So I will go up to where they're um, uh, staying uh, in the hospital um, and I will meet with the nurses and I will get on the computer and check their lab work and hear about how they did the night before and then I'll go see the patients and kind of talk to them about how they're doing and what the plan is for them today. And that's really neat because surgery is, is really a team effort. Um, we don't work on patients, we work with patients um, to help them to get better. And so after rounds, if I'm lucky, I get to have a little something to eat. And on days that I go to the operating room, we head down to the operating room where we are now uh, and then begin to uh, start the procedures for the day. I would say if, if you were in high school and considering uh, a career in medicine, you might even think you want to be a surgeon, um, the first thing I would say to do is to be your best. Take school very seriously. This is very competitive. You really want to perform well. But other than that, because everybody's going to do well, right? When they apply for medical school, you're, you're going to be applying with, with other students who have done well. That, that's going to be a consistent. I would say do this. Find a doctor. Find somebody who is doing what you think you may want to do and go talk to them. Uh, it's so amazing sometimes uh, when you see how different it is between what you think a person does and what they actually do. Uh, and so I think if you're interested, I would say go find somebody in that specialty. We are really blessed here in Camden uh, to have a hospital full of docs and everybody else that kind of makes the hospital run. And so please come over, come see us, call, uh, make an appointment to, to sit with someone that's doing what it is you think you may want to do and really find out uh, just how neat it is, but also what you can do to give yourself the best possible chance to be successful. Initially, I got my bachelor's in science in nursing, and that was a four-year program. Um, and then you have to be an ICU nurse for at least uh, two to three years as a, na a national average to go back to anesthesia school as a nurse. Uh, I stayed in the ICU at the bedside for 10 years, and then I went uh, to anesthesia school. Uh, it was a master's in nursing program. It's now uh, a doctorate level uh, program and uh, my program was 27 months. I enjoy anesthesia because I get to meet so many people and I get to form uh, a relationship with them in a very quick amount of time and as I mentioned earlier uh, most people that come to the hospital are pretty nervous and don't want to be here so I like to uh, kid and cut up and try to get those folks to relax. Additionally, I enjoy all the cases and uh, the technical things of anesthesia. You get to work with your hands, you get to look at uh, all the monitors and things and make decisions uh, right in the instance to 
make sure the patient has the very best uh, surgery that they can have. And so I really enjoy getting to do all of those things. It's a, the perfect package. Strongly encourage you to go to anesthesia school. Uh, it is a great career, it's great people, it's very enjoyable. Start an early plan, start realizing some of the requirements down the road so you're not wasting time and you can get, get on in the anesthesia sooner than later and enjoy all the, the fun that there is. I went to school for a two-year program. It's an associate's degree now, so you go for 16 months. Once you graduate, you have to take a national board certifying exam. And if you pass your certifying exam, you can practice surgical technology anywhere in the United States. And um, that was at the very end of my schooling. You have to do clinicals, which is four months long. You get sent to a specific hospital where you get to scrub in with a preceptor, which is someone who's already in the role as a surgical technologist, who scrubs in alongside you, kind of teaches you how to set up the back table, teaches you what you're going to do on a day-to-day -day basis. You guys are kind of joined at the hip for a little bit. And then towards the end of your clinical experience, you get to scrub by yourself. And then usually if you do a good job in your clinical site, you can get hired on right away at that hospital or you can apply to hospitals closer to you or in the area. Here, we're at a smaller hospital, so our scope is kind of wider than if you went to a larger hospital like UF Shands in Jacksonville, which is where I did my clinicals. Um, but here specifically, we will come in in the morning We'll have a staff like group huddle where we talk about what surgeries are happening during the day, who's gonna be assigned to what room. Um, circulating nurses and surgical techs are kinda grouped in each room. Um, we'll come into the room, we'll wipe everything down um, to start the day, and then we will open the back table. So sterilely, we have to gown, we have to glove, we have to wear our scrub cap. Um, eye protection, all that, and we'll open up a back table, which will have all the drapes for the patient. It'll have all the instruments the surgeon will use throughout the surgery. Um, and then equipment in the room will have to roll in specific to that surgery. And then during surgery, the surgeon will come in or any assistants will gown and glove them sterilely for patient safety and will help the surgeon perform the surgery. Our scope of practice allows us to retract, so we can uh, retract for the surgeon, and then we pass instrumentation to the surgeon as they need it throughout the surgery. And then we also clean up at the end of it and roll our case cards to decontam so they can be sterilized for a future procedure. My favorite part of the job are the people I work with. I feel blessed because the surgeons here are awesome and we are kind of like one big family and we go to each other's houses and stuff like that. I mean, it's enjoying the people you work with makes coming to work um, fun. You want to be here, so that's great. So I obtained my bachelor's degree um, from the University of Georgia. That takes around four years. Uh, and then I obtained my uh, medical doctorate at Emory University and that also took uh, four years. And then to be a surgeon, you go through a five-year residency program. And I did my residency at the University of Kentucky. And then I also did an additional year of training in sports medicine at the University of Kentucky. So four plus four plus five plus one. As an orthopedic surgeon, my day is or my week is divided between clinic and the operating room. So I see patients in clinic because the, the vast majority of uh, patients uh, don't need surgery, and with the variety of non-operative treatment, we can make them better. And so I'm seeing patients in clinic, uh, diagnosing uh, uh, their ailment and helping to prescribe treatment patterns. But then some things do require surgery and so I spend part of my week in the operating room where I use a variety of techniques to uh, surgically address those issues. Uh, I chose that specialty. One, I loved surgery during medical school. I loved the hands-on aspect of it. I loved being able to address issues both medicinally, non-operatively, as well as to be able to do things operatively. Um, and that is. I loved the subject matter of orthopedics. I thought the anatomy was incredibly interesting. It was my favorite. The musculoskeletal system was my favorite area of anatomy to, to uh, study during medical school. 
and I just thought the surgeries were awesome. I thought the problems were you know, fascinating to deal with. I mean, I just really enjoyed just all the aspects of it. I mean, it was, it was pretty clear to me by the end of medical school that was really what I wanted to do. I mean, my, my advice would be if this is something you think you want to do, one, I'd make sure that you shadow someone. Um, it's a little different than Gray's Anatomy, and so you want to make sure that um, you want to make sure that what you're getting yourself in is what you think you're going to do, because as you, you could hear, it is a bit of a long process to get there. The other thing I just encourage you, if this is what you want to do, stay the course. I mean, it, it does take a while. But you're going to be in your 30s regardless one day. You might as well be doing what you want to do when you get there. Hello, I'm Melody Bradley and I'm the Digital Media Supervisor in the Health Systems Marketing Department. A career in healthcare doesn't necessarily mean patient care. There are many departments that help to keep the hospital running, which require skills other than science, and marketing is one of them. I earned a four-year Bachelor of Arts degree in Creative Writing and Psychology. The beauty of an English degree is that every industry, including healthcare, needs prolific writers. Many of my coworkers have marketing and business degrees, so those are options too if you're interested in a career in marketing. As a digital media supervisor, it's my job to keep up to date with new technologies and software, understand those advances, and how they could potentially benefit the hospital. On a day-to-day -day basis, I manage our website, provide social media campaigns on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, film and edit videos, design TV ads, write press releases and articles, and coordinate photo shoots. Sometimes I'm even the photographer. We wear a lot of hats in the marketing department. It's fast paced and I get to use both sides of my brain, both the creative and analytical, which keeps me on my toes every day. My name is Chris Walker. I am a PC technician at the Southeast Georgia Health System Camden campus. I have uh, multiple industry certificates, um, such as the CompTIA A Plus certification and the uh, CompTIA Network Plus certification. It took about a year to get that. The Net Plus, because I had already had a lot of the background, only took about six months. Essentially, my job is to ensure that the computers and the network um, at our location here stays functional and uh, uh, continues to, to function for the uh, nurses and the doctors to be able to provide patient care. My day can be anything from responding to emergency uh, down computers or network issues or something like that to uh, simply setting up and uh, deploying uh, new computers um, setting up new offices, troubleshooting if, if, if there's a particular issue, trying to figure out, you know, is it a network issue, is it a computer issue, is it, um, you know, something that's maybe a vendor has to, has to take care of. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of troubleshooting in, in, in what I do. I really enjoy knowing that I can make people feel at ease with uh, the fact that uh, technology can be very overwhelming, um, especially to someone who didn't grow up with it or someone who isn't as technically inclined as others. Um, so it does make me feel good knowing, you know, when I walk away from something that I've, I've left it in a better state than it was when I got there. My name is Ashley Wilner and I'm the clinical lead in the ER. We uh, start our day off with a huddle with the oncoming uh, shift and um, after we huddle and make a assignment based off of our skills, we come out and get report from the off going shift. We focus on patient care and emergencies here in the emergency room. We use our skills and assess patients and triage them uh, based on their complaints. On our in and out every day, we usually start an IV. Um, that's usually a daily thing that we do for patients. We do code cart checks to make sure that they are up to date and um, well equipped with items that we need in case we have an emergency come in. The favorite part of my job is actually helping patients get a diagnosis for what ails them. You know, sometimes it can be a mystery and it's always interesting to see um, what is found and um, the help that we give them and hope to achieve for them while they're here. 
We provide a lot of care to local people and I would say that I definitely enjoy taking care of people that I know. I think that they draw comfort from having someone here that they do know. The adrenaline is always fun, you know, that you have to try to breathe and it takes a little while to get used to that and comfortable to having at any second an emergency or life-changing event come through the ambulance doors or through the front door and you have to be able to contain yourself and work in a calm manner so that the patient can get care and have everyone be safe. Everyone who asks me, is nursing a hard degree to get? I would say no, it's not. You have to be focused and you have to want to put the time in. Anyone can be a nurse as long as you want to put the time in and you have the care um, in your heart for patients because it's hard to be a nurse if you don't have any passion or empathy. My name is Jessica Wilds and I am the Director of Patient Care Services here at Southeast Georgia Health System Camden Campus. I'm excited to share a little bit about my personal nursing journey as well as some of the day-to-day -day activities as a nurse leader with you all. Um, I am a registered nurse and I started in 2004, so almost 18 years ago. Um, I started my career med surge oncology at the bedside, and I've worked many different shifts um, with many different um, teams. And that's the beauty of the nursing profession is that there is a variety of things that you can do. The one thing that I want to share with you about uh, getting into the nursing profession is that it does require successful graduation from a nursing program. Um, passing of your uh, national board exam, your NCLEX, uh, and, and then you can start in any direction that you, that you want to, but the funny thing is, is that most people um, start in one area and then they find their niche. If you're more drawn to the clinical, um, there's so many different things that you can do, especially in the hospital setting. You know, cath lab, mother baby, med surge oncology is where I, I started. Um, the emergency department, operating room where you can be part of a care team and, and help in that surgical service aspect of patient care. There's also non-traditional nursing roles such as nursing informatics where you know you help um, develop the electronic medical record to serve nursing and patients in the delivery of safe patient care. Um, there's you know so many different things that you can do as a nurse and I think that's what makes um, it unique and special and I really think that it's a beautiful profession in that it um, touches people's lives in a profound way. As a nurse, you will be a lifelong learner. And that is something that I truly enjoy and I seek out to learn something new every single day. And I do, I learn something new every single day. So healthcare is rapidly changing every day and we need um, innovative, talented people to come join us in this journey. And I hope that you will consider an exciting career in healthcare as you start your own personal journey.